everybody, it's Movie again, and today I'm gonna use the same intro that I use in every single episode of Gaming Is It Pope. Hell yeah! <laughs> uh, so today the gameplay is Grand Theft Auto V. The game, as you as you would assume, I'm guessing you guys have been playing it. It's fucking awesome. Rockstar spent like five years making it. It's fucking worth it. Uh, Robin Banks doing crazy shit. This footage is for, uh, from earlier in the game, but uh, I'll probably record some later on footage as well. Um, but I guess if you guys don't want that, let me know. But I'm guessing you guys are fine with that because that game is fucking awesome. Uh, the articles today are actually really important, pretty big shit going on. Uh, one of them isn't exactly new, but I really wanted to talk about it, so, uh, let's get into it. It'll be fucking crazy. So, moving to our first Gaming is Boop article. This one, uh, really isn't an article at all, it's just the SteamOS page, fuck yeah! SteamOS has been announced. Uh, I mean, if you guys don't play PC games, SteamOS is basically where almost everybody gets their PC games, they download them, and that's really why, uh, Microsoft wanted you to download games on Xbox One, but... It's a little bit different on consoles, but basically Steam is the best way to get games on PCs, and now they're coming out with Steam OS, so uh, I guess you won't be running Windows OS anymore, or Mac OS, <laughs> uh, So Steam OS is like a version of Linux, um, which I don't really know anything about Linux, but uh, apparently it's just supposed to be pretty cool. You're supposed to get, I think, more frames, you know, better, uh, you know, architecture for video gaming, although I'm not really sure if you can actually use it for other things, like... Just doing fucking homework, which is I what, what I do a lot on my computer. Um, but it looks pretty cool, like some special things like in-home streaming, so you can stream from your other computers and stuff. Uh, music, movies, TV, family sharing, family options. So it seems like they stole a lot from Xbox is going to do uh, with the whole family sharing thing, but uh, pretty cool. Um, and last of all, I don't know if I said this, but SteamOS is going to be free, which I just found fucking crazy because... Microsoft OS, you know, Windows 8 is like 100, 110, you can even find it more than that. But, uh, pretty interesting, you know, check out Steam OS. Um, I'm probably not going to get it because Windows is perfectly fine on my system. But, uh, it's an interesting start and, I mean, if it's a start for something pretty fucking crazy, we'll see what happens because Steam has really kicked ass with everything else they've done, so, uh, we'll see what they do here. It's going to be fucking interesting. And moving to our second game in this book article, this one's talking about Grand Theft Auto Online. Yeah, what a fucking shocker that game comes out, well actually, the online comes out next Tuesday, I believe. And it'll be pretty interesting, you know, blimps flying around everywhere, crazy shit going on. But uh, this is talking about the online possibly having microtransactions. So, you know, microtransactions like buying a gun, a blimp, shit like that. And some guy on Reddit found a section on the pause menu requests a file from Rockstar servers. And that brings up some content that possibly could, you know, turn into a microtransaction at some point. So, uh, who knows if this is actually going to happen. Um, you know, the blimp, I know, I got that for free, but probably later on games won't get that. And people are going to go like, shit dog, I gotta get a blimp. It's fucking crazy. I have the fucking cops run into me and fucking blow me up. What the fuck? Um, but, <laughs> pretty cool. Um, I don't really, I hope, you know, it doesn't have microtransactions. Um, instead of that, I would rather have it have, like, DLC. Um, maybe, like, the, uh, the, the Lost and Damned and the Ballad of Gay Tony, those are both of the, uh, um, the DLCs on, um, Grand Theft Auto 4. Um, we'll see what happens here. I really hope it doesn't have that, but it seems like the world of gaming is moving towards that and, uh, free-to-play. So we'll see what happens next week. Uh, hopefully Rockstar does the right decision and makes a DLC instead. So, moving to our third game is Bob article. This one's a little bit older, but it really pissed me off, and I don't even understand why, why my Microsoft did this. It's just fucking stupid. It's moving in the wrong direction. So, apparently, Xbox One will not be designed for vertical orientation. Now, I don't know about you guys, but all my consoles, even my cable box, which, by the way, my cable box is not designed for vertical orientation, but all of those are vertically orientated. And do you know why? Because I don't have a lot of room on my desk. Uh, and if I did do all of them horizontal, my cable box would make my would make my Xbox, my PS3, all that shit overheat, and it would all be broken within like a fucking week. So that's why it's all horizontal. It keeps everything cool, keeps everything uh, you know looking great. And uh, I don't know why Microsoft is doing this bullshit. So apparently Microsoft did some quote unquote research, uh, which is quote unquote for bullshit. Uh, apparently 80% of people have their Xbox 360 consoles oriented ver uh, horizontally, which means laying down. Um, now, that's bullshit, especially for the, for, for the uh, quote-unquote 20% of us that have their consoles vertically. Um, Microsoft, you know, get your fucking head out of your ass. Stop moving backwards. I know you went from 360 to 1, but why the fuck are you doing this retarded shit? 
So according to Microsoft, you can do your console vertical orientated at your own risk. You know what, Microsoft? Suck my fucking dick. You guys can suck it. I'm not going to buy your shitty fucking console. Apparently, at first you were like, hey, you can't do any used games. Hey, you can't do any offline gameplay. And then you brought that shit back. Unless you bring back vertical orientation, I'm not going to buy your fucking console. And to be completely honest, I don't want to buy your console anyway. It's $100 more than the PS4. It's a fucking piece of shit. I don't want your fucking Kinect. You get the fuck away from me, you piece of fucking shit. So, honestly, I want to get your guys' opinion about this too. Do you guys think this is fucking stupid? I don't even know why this pissed me off so much, but all my consoles are vertical. I can't do horizontal. So, Microsoft, what the fuck? So, so you guys. Do you guys have your consoles vertical or horizontal? I'm guessing according to Microsoft's research with 80% of people, you know, with horizontal... Do you guys do horizontal or you guys do vertical? Now, every PC gamer I know that has a desktop tower, all of them are fucking vertical. So why the fuck isn't my console able to be vertical? That doesn't make any fucking sense. So, let me know what you guys think. Uh, I think it's total fucking bullshit. I think Microsoft can suck my fucking dick. And uh, I think I'm not going to buy the fucking Xbox at least until they fix this fucking stupid ass bullshit design. What the fuck? You know, every week I talk about it, the Xbox One just keeps getting worse and worse and worse. And I don't understand why. I honestly want to get the Xbox One, but Microsoft is just giving me so many points on why I shouldn't get it. And I know a lot of you guys will get it, but please, reconsider. Look at the PS4. It's a better console, it's a cheaper console, and uh, I'm pretty sure you can do vertical because I've seen so many uh, pictures of a vertical. So, that just pisses me off so much, I don't even understand what the fuck is going on in this world anymore. But anyways, I hope you guys like this Gaming Dispo article. Uh, really, honestly, reconsider the Xbox One. Please don't get it. Uh, it's just a fucking train wreck at this point. At least wait for them to redesign it or something. It's just fucking terrible right now. It's a, it's a TV cable box right now that can barely play games. Um, so anyways, once again, hope you guys like this Gaming Dispo article or this video. Uh, if you guys like the gameplay, you know, it's fucking Grand Theft Auto. If you don't have it already, uh, then you're not a gamer. But, uh... You know, fucking get it. Uh, it's fucking crazy. And I'll probably do more gameplay of it in the future, so look out for that. Um, if you guys want to drop a like on this video, if you guys are getting the PS4, definitely drop a like on it. If you're getting the Xbox One, uh, once again, reconsider your decision and don't get the fucking piece of shit. But I'll see crazy motherfuckers around the bin. Peace out, motherfuckers!